Alrighty, well just under two days, the update drops and from that we are going to get stacked with new characters, content and buffs. Um, now I am in the middle of uh, making sure that obviously these are the first initial characters that are going to get buffed as we're aware. So I'm currently in the process of just kind of setting them up, gearing them up and um, I thought I'd just do a video just to let you guys know on the gear sets and whatnot that I'm using on on how I'm going to be um, building them up and what I would advise so we're just going to go through every single character their build set wise so that way um, when they do get their buffs hey, you never know they might be put in a much much better position where it actually where, where it makes the character usable and well better which clearly will be the case but for certain characters we'll see if they're uh, usable because <laughs> I mean to be fair in most content nowadays in terms of using hunters there are set characters that we just typically use over and over and over again, being like Cheyenne, Min, etc. You guys get the idea. But it might put these characters in that limelight when they do get their buff. So um, yeah, I just want to talk about on um, making sure that they're ready to rock and roll in terms of their build. Alright, so we'll start things off with Beast. Um, now to be fair, some people won't probably have him. Um, so that's completely fine although there is a very 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 good chance that he will officially be in the custom draw banner as uh, i've spoken about in yesterday's video and previously a while back too so there's that um so in terms of building arm how would you want to go about doing it so first things first um the accessory set will forever be the berserker set because of course he is losing his hp then you can quite easily get the HP condition applied to get that increase of 30% damage when you get a plus 4 set of the Berserker set. So the Berserker set is honestly the best set for him, straight up. So that's, the, 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 honestly that, that, that's the that's the set that you want. Now um, in terms of stats, what you're looking at since it's going to be crawling with the uh, artifacts, um, realistically you just, you're looking for attack, you're looking for HP. Um, if you want to, if you do manage to get the first dupe, because the first dupe on his oh, passive boy. gives him um, crit rate increase and crit damage increase uh, by 3% every 1 second for 10 seconds, so that's an extra 30% coming into play. If you want to get that applied, then you can uh, honestly start helping out and apply more to the crit side of things, of course. Um, but outside of that, you know, damage increase and whatnot is basically what you're looking for, so more on the offensiveness. Um, but try and cater to building up that HP, of course, because he, he also benefits a lot from the lost HP. Um, it allows you to do way more damage. Um, so that's the accessory side of things. Now, when it comes to the artifacts, of course, like I've mentioned, if you do get that first dupe, then you can cater to the toughness set, which I have right here, of course, to uh, get that nuking going on. However, um, if you don't get the first dupe and you don't want to really want to cater to the toughness set, then the set that you are going to be going with will be the solid foundation set, which is this one. So, increase the user's basic attack damage by 18% and then the core attack uh, damage by 18% 18 with the ch and it charges the core gauge by 60. But it's, it, realistically, it's more for the two sets. So, realistically, if you want to do two solid foundation and two. Um, do, 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 uh, what is it um what's this called <laughs> noble sacrifice there we go and then two on the noble sacrifice um that is that is an option that is an option unless you want to do two on the uh five percent on the attack you can also just throw in the arm set i'm just going to put that out there right now if you want to throw in the arm set if you don't have anything good for solar foundation or if you don't have the first dupe for the toughness set that's completely fine you can resort to the armed um set itself but um, the reason why I mentioned the solid foundation is because his skill does cater to his uh, basic attack where if you apply the second skill it gives him super armor but more importantly it increases his basic attack damage and attack speed by 30% so you can get a little bit more out of it if you apply the solid foundation and then once again when it comes to why I mentioned in the HP his ultimate increase so the um, damage from his ultimate increases by 10% for every 10% of his HP lost so this is why I also mentioned if you want to cater more to the HP side of things um, you can really get a lot out of it from the ultimate so that's pretty much what you're looking for in terms of building up beast depending on um, if you have his first dupe and if you don't have his first dupe so there's that um, heading over now to Lee Bora, a very, very interesting character. So, uh, I would personally say the best main set for her would be the Destroyer set. 
because you're kind of looking at her as a support DPS character, but more of a more more of a support. I'll tell you support slash chip DPS character. There we go. Um, so obviously the destroyer set will help you help the team out in terms of the whole power gauge situation, which is going to be fantastic. Exactly what you want if you are going to be utilizing her in that manner, which most do. Um, in terms of the accessory uh, set, you can get the ex executioner set going on because again. DPS side of her, if you want to help her out, or if you want to help out the team, get a little bit of chip damage off. Again, when her little minions come about and actually get that buff going on, and they start scaling a little bit off from her crit side of things, then that would uh, that's going to make a lot of the, a lot of difference. Now, if you really want to cater more to the support side of things, um, you can apply the accessory set, uh, being outstanding connection. So, for example. I've already got set for her, I just haven't leveled it up. This is the main necklace that I would have been using. Um, so yeah, it's just full on the offense and of stats is what you're kind of looking for. So yeah, this is something that I would have catered to. But um, yeah, attack, crits and whatnot is basically what you're looking at. So you've got a choice of going with the executioner set just to pile on a little bit more damage for her. Or if you really want to focus on supporting your main DPS characters, then you can uh, pull out the outstanding, uh, outstanding connection set for her. Now, if you just kind of wanted to put her more in a DPS position, then I would, honestly, the toughness set might be the best set to go with her in terms of building her in that attack and crit side, of course. Also, I've got to mention, I believe her first skill, her first dupe, no, sorry, her second dupe gives her the crit rate and crit damage increase, my bad. Um, but yeah, by, by, by applying that stat, again, keep in mind, the Phantom Foxes will now benefit from that. So um, if, if, if you are looking to do more uh, in terms of the DPS side of things, then yeah, it will be the crit side of things. But I, I personally would suggest the, the, the destroy set for her. Uh, Lim is one of the characters what I, I, I've just um, leveled up starts to work on a little bit as you guys can see so solid foundation is going to be the set for him absolutely beautiful set um, you want to pile on the attack um, I don't realistically you, you don't really need to cater the crit side of things just give him attack damage increase defense pen the, those are the main attacking stats you really really want from him now in terms of the accessories stick with the executioner set that will be the best set for him because um, he is he is a ranged user, so you are going to be doing a ton of damage from range towards the enemy. So just kind of benefit from the enemy's HP change. So that way you can get that plus 20%. Um, in terms of the artifacts, what you want to use, because you've got to keep in mind with the way that um, Lim works, is that his ultimate basically makes it so that he has eight ultimate shots from uh, that that basically goes to his basic attack. So you want to make sure that you're catering to the basic attack. Um, and so from that increase the user's basic attack damage by 18 percent so yeah you want to make sure that the soul foundation is his set now you can switch it up because obviously um he also does have break i don't think he's got anything good i, I think yeah so his second skill is the only one that deals heavy break so if you want to cater to that breakage side of him realistically again you can do two solid foundation and then uh, apply two of um the uh, solid analysis set if you want to unless you want to go full breakage then the solid analysis set is there for him if you, if, if you want to go full so that way you get that elemental weakness break effect increases by 30% um, if that's something that you need but you can run the two so that way you can benefit um, again from the breakage to the basic attack because again the ultimate changes his basic attack into the ultimate and you get eight big shots so that is pretty much limited. We got Yunho, there we go, the light breaker. Um, pretty self explanatory. Keep the executioner set going on for him. And I would highly, highly suggest the solid analysis set. Um, the breakage power uh, from this character, it's pretty disgusting in my, my opinion. Name is I think it's, yeah, so heavy break, medium type. break. I'm sorry about that. Feels like a heavy break whenever I use it the first skill. But hmm. yeah, um, <laughs> high, high breakage value to, on practically everything. I don't my think he's got a weak break at any point. It's all just medium to heavy. So, oh no, well, I mean, that's still pretty effective to have his uh, basic attack to apply weak break. So in all, <laughs> in all honesty, just keep the solid uh, analysis set on him is what I would highly, highly suggest just to get the most out of it um yeah that that's what i would suggest and then we got the wind boys so we got doing so of course um so i'm just now working on him um so i've given him the armed set because uh, of course you've got to keep in mind that he is just I'm full on just something. working on damage you know there, there's there's no 
secret <laughs> behind this character. He's just full on damage. Unfortunately, we don't have a set that can cater more to the defensive side of things in terms of increasing it because he does scale off from defense, but pretty much just throwing the arm set so that way you can get that 50% um, ignore on the defense whilst giving yourself that 5% attack, you know, to kind of keep it straightforward, of course. Um, and then you can throw on the executioner set that is kind of that's kind of like the universal. Um, set to go on or if you choose to get that champion of the field set on so that way you can just kind of um, pile on that extra 20% attack um, from the crit side of things of course um, in terms of uh, stats what we're looking at I mean defense is going to be crucial since he's scaling off that from his skills um, attack again if you want to I mean if you are rocking the champion of the field get some crits going on of course build that up if you can just a little bit um, defense pen damage increase just Full on, I mean, also and an additional defense too. So, yeah, really make sure that the defense is up there so you can scale off that. But that's pretty much it um, in terms of what we're looking at for Tong. So, of course, again, a character that I'm still working on a little bit. But we'll and then get the there. last character in question is going to be Jin himself, of course. So, um, I've still yet to work on him, but um, again, very self-explanatory. Uh, you are going to be catering to the solid analysis set. He's in the same page as Dong Tso in terms of scaling off from defense. So obviously making sure that you are catering to the defense side of things. Do I have anything? I've got a lot of attacks, but I don't have. I don't think I've got anything. Oh, there we go. Eh, that works out. Eh, that works out. So you know, attack, defense, um, defense pen, all that stuff uh, is basically what we're looking at. Addition. Actually, this could work. If only that additional HP was either damage increase or defense pen, that this would have been. I mean, I'd still probably cater to this to be honest. That's still fantastic for him. So, get that going. And then obviously with the accessory set, um, it will probably be the executioner set that we will be uh, applying. But he does have a cooldown on his skills, where the meditation power will then allow you to have your iron fist at the ready. And so from that, if you would like to. Um, it does open up the concentration of firepower uh, to be a good choice. Um, and that's not too bad because you've you got to keep in mind um, with the skill of Jin, the, the key cell value of this character is the fact that he can charge up a dash, uh, which is extremely, extremely nice to have. So, um, yeah, it, it, it'll either be the... Ex Ooh, where am I going? But yeah, it'll either be the executioner set if you are trying to get some damage off. But um, in all honesty, if you are trying to... Because, I mean, here's the thing, dashes on solo leveling play a huge, huge role. So, um, it would not actually be a bad idea to throw in the concentration of firepower. Uh, yeah, just just food for thought right there. So, you, so you've got your choices. Um, so, there's that. But, anyway, um, I think that's everyone, right? I think that's everyone I covered. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. So, those are pretty much the builds on what we're looking at in terms of how the character is working with their skill sets and whatnot. So, um... If you do have one of these characters, they are getting buffed, and you are, and you've got time and resources to sp to spend on one of these characters getting buffed, and you want to, then that's pretty much how you would go about catering to um, building them. I would say so. Um, yeah, uh, that, that I think that's everything. Um, there's more I want to say, but I'm not gonna say. I can't say. <laughs> uh, we'll find out when the update goes live. Well, yeah, we'll find out when the update goes live. All right, that's all. All right, boys, take care. Peace.